they still have different cards in them. But a lot of these boxes go like 100 to $400 um, a piece on eBay. These Mod Squad wrappers, which I got a whole bunch of, 45 bucks a piece. Are you trying to get a close-up? Mm -hmm. And then I haven't checked all these boxes yet, so that's different stuff. You know, here's 1966 Tops Batman cards. You know, really good condition. There's Bonanza cards. Um, I don't know what this is. I gotta look it up. I don't know what this is. Different space cards. These things are like 50 bucks a piece. They're just the wrappers. Just the wrappers, yeah. Here's 1948 Leaf boxing cards, which are pretty cool. Um, also, let me show you something else that's really cool before we get into what I'm showing. See, like whenever whenever we do a video, we kind of do what I talk about. And then, uh, oh, what are these? I haven't seen these yet. Popo cards, okay. Oh, no, I did see these, okay. So these are, I think they're 64 football cards. That's some good stuff. I have to go through them. But then these right here, these are pretty cool too. Oh, you got a little preview right here. Dodgers card, postcards. Obviously from the 50s. This is pretty cool. Okay, anyway, this is boring. This is boring. This is just stuff. We got space cards. So I got all this different stuff, some more football cards. There's some more cards in the box I haven't even checked. And this is just something that we found in one draw. But when we looked at it, I must have got tired at opening boxes and I never saw these basketball cards. Now, these are 1961 Flair. Did a little bit of research real quick and they're like one of the most Hottest set out there. People love them. A lot of these are decent condition. They have little bent corners and stuff. So probably a lot of them will grade like, I'm assuming fours and fives. Some of them maybe three. Some of them sixes. So I'm just, you know, these first two suck, but I'm just doing a quick run through. And I'm not sure. I'm, I got the key cards already pulled. There might be a couple more key ones in here. Um, But it looks like right now I found so far 62 out of uh, 66. So you can see it's a whole nother stack. But let me show you some good cards. Let's get excited. Let's get pumped up. Hey, come close over here. Okay. Oscar Robinson. Mm -hmm. Bob Cousy. It's off center, but it's really nice condition. Elgin Baylor. Will Chamberlain, that's his in action card. Jerry West, that's his rookie card, little corner damage on the side, but you know, I'm so hoping it still comes back at three or four. It actually has a little crease line right here, too. Let's see now. And that's just, it looks, it's armpit hair, I guess. I don't know. I think that's. <laughs> Bill Russell, that's a really good card, Hall of Famer. Jerry West, snacks a rebound. And the most important card of the deck. Will Chamberlain, his rookie card. So this come if this grades a PSA three, which I know it does. So, but I'm hoping it's a four, five, maybe even a six. But if this grades a PSA three, this is a thousand dollar card. So, I mean, uh, okay. So that's like a total cool score. I mean, I mean, I think this set is easily worth if I'm unlucky three thousand. If I'm lucky, 10,000. So I'm probably gonna take all these, send them into PSA right away, get them created, and um, can't wait. I, I know I should have them in holders already, but it's 3 a.m. I just kinda now did the research on it. So first thing in the morning, I'm gonna give me some top loaders. The reason I use top loaders is because they're gonna get sent in for grading, and um, we're gonna get these protected. So there's a Magic the Gathering store around. And we're gonna get these sent in to get graded. But hey, that's how we do it at Bargain at the Thrift. So I mean, my whole day is about comics. Uh, I knew I had some of these cool boxes. Um, we were just messing around. We keep on finding more. This house is like crazy. But now that I know there's good old baseball cards and stuff like that in it too, I'm hoping to find more. Because we still barely in that room. So I really got to pay attention for baseball cards, football cards. Um, there's a whole bunch of these cards right here. I think these were, um, I forgot by now already. There were 64, 66, or 69. I, I don't remember. But he has them sorted by teams, and then this is all that fit in that one box. So obviously the card we want to find in here is Joe Nam Namath for the New York Jets. We haven't found the Jets pile, so I'm hoping it's somewhere else. And um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's exciting. So we're doing a video for you at 3 a.m. in the morning. 
I'm actually gonna go up there right now and upload it and edit it, which should be really quick because I'm just doing a raw video. So this way I can share it with you guys tomorrow morning. When I'm going upstairs, I'm going right back to bed. <laughs> I know, Casey made a big mistake. She got a glass of water at 3 a.m. I'm like, hey, let's do a video. So, but this is pretty cool. Hey, check this out, flare gum, one cents. That's pretty cool. And these things have cards in them too. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't even know if these are worth anything. Somebody can research these for me. I mean, I'll research it too. So these are original, let me read what it says right here. Universal Tours, the Munsters, actual mo motion picture film clip, 1965. Wanna check these, I got a whole bunch of these for different videos, so, different movies, so let's see what these are worth. And then, oops, I'm kinda crushing this box, which is not good. I have, oh, you know what? I just remembered, I have two more boxes at the warehouse. These boxes, just a box. So this is from 1966, I believe. Let me, uh, I know I already did the finish with the video and I'm showing you more stuff. It's like crazy, I can't stop. It's like, I could be, like, I could probably work till I pass out because I just love it so much. It's like, it's so awesome. When you find stuff, it's great. But just a box, I found two already. and This is the third one. Um, I thought, ah, eh, just a box is no cards with a, with a mess up. Um, oh, right here, 1966, okay. So just a box on eBay goes for 150 bucks. So all this stuff, like these boxes will be on eBay, they're graded cards, so maybe on eBay. But I got several guys that really love sport cards for me. So depending on what they need for their collection, what the budget areas are, uh, what grades they come back, um, we'll see, they might never make eBay, you never know. Um, I have a lot of really good customers, which I appreciate everybody. Uh, but right now I'm getting so much stuff, I think some of these guys will be overloaded, so. We'll see. Good times at Bargain Hunter thrift store, so. And somebody came in today and told me Northern California will hold ranches for nothing but full of collectibles. I'm like, ah, I got like two more weeks at the house. I'm like, I can't wait till that's done. Um, but hey, I'm gonna go look at the ranch, you know? But I told him after March 1st, so. Might as well buy more stuff, you know? <laughs> I, I'll keep the storage industry and business by ourselves. So. <laughs> anyway. Buy big or go home. Buy big or go home. You guys support the channel. Hit subscribe, hit like, hit share, all that stuff. Um, because it's been really, really good lately with the support, you know, we're doing more and more videos. So, we well, almost been doing a video a day, which is not really what I do, but why not, right? That's why they're not edit fancy, you know, I keep them really quick. We'll just keep a raw video. I download it, upload it, that's it. You know, hope you enjoy. Check out that official Green Hornet box, that's pretty cool too. I'm gonna have to look that up. I like that. Looks like it's from the 60s. That's it. All right, guys, we're out. Shut it off. Gotta go. Tired.